In a city under siege, the story of people coming together and enduring. A man carrying jugs of water is passing by a hospital. A doctor grabs him. Come quick, it's an emergency. Okay, he says, I'll give you my blood, just don't take my water. <laughs> the humor is awful. The miracle is that there's anything to laugh at at all. This is ABC News Nightline. Reporting from Washington, Ted Koppel. The truth now. When we hear or read about Bosnia in the news, most of us cringe a little. It's difficult not to feel sympathy, but it's only too easy not to want to become engaged. Well, don't be alarmed. There'll be very little blood and guts on this program tonight. Yes, we are focusing on a city in which about 12,000 people have fallen victim to the war, more than 1,700 of them children, but what we sometimes ignore, or at least fail to acknowledge, is that Sarajevo is a city of some 400,000 people who continue to do an absolutely remarkable job of living. Not just staying alive, mind you, but living. Caring about how they look, about the impression that they make on one another. Trying to keep themselves intellectually involved. Trying to make one another laugh. Continuing to care about the future. Living. That is no small accomplishment. But what is absolutely heroic about the people of Sarajevo, Serbs, Muslims, Croats, and Jews, is their determination to remain neighbors with one another, surrounded as they are by ethnic violence and hatred. Sarajevo, as producer Deanna Lee and correspondent Dave Marish will show us, is determined to remain a civilized place. In the shadow of Trebovich Mountain, just outside a gate in the ancient walls around the city of Sarajevo, lives Hasima Vesajic. This used to be a great place for outings. There used to be the traditional Bosnian coffee shops, the kind where you grind the coffee by hand. And now, we have nothing. Now you can see what we have. Not that Hasima and her friends are giving up, just because of a 17-month siege and hundreds of mortar and artillery shells that have left the walls and roofs of her old neighborhood looking like Swiss cheese. Everything was destroyed, but we will rebuild everything. Just give us peace and health, and we can accomplish anything. Enter the city gate and turn the corner, and you can see what Hasima means. There on Alexa Santisa Street, named for one of Sarajevo's great Serb poets. Her neighbors, most of the Muslims, are digging a new gas line. The same agreement that obliges the Serb nationalists to stop shelling the city and to pull back from their positions on nearby mountains obliges them to restore Sarajevo's water, electric, and gas service. Few believe these obligations will be met, but this volunteer labor goes on anyway. Of course this makes sense, says one man with a shovel. Of course Sarajevo has a future. Sarajevo can't die. It will never die. Don't worry about us, said another. We'll survive, that's for sure. This can't go on forever. These are typical 1993 Sarajevans, confident of their own resources, contemptuous of those they feel have let them down. America, what do I think? I think the United States is going to lose its leadership role in the world unless they do what they promised. In my personal opinion, the United States provides us with sincere support to try to help the people of Bosnia. Yure Pelivan was the first prime minister of the independent state of Bosnia-Herzegovina. For every good word he has to say about America, though, he has 10 harsh ones for Bosnia's so-called European allies. Absolutely. I consider that Bosnia was betrayed. We were very much deceived by the politicians of Great Britain and France. These days, the ex-prime minister, who also used to be one of his country's top bankers, lives quietly with his wife. I live 
as an average citizen in Sarajevo. I suffer the consequences of the siege, the limitation of movement, the difficulties in nutrition. How the once wealthy Pelivan share Sarajevo's common difficulties was displayed during a rainstorm. Mrs. Pelivan, remember he was dressed up for our interview, joined the neighbors in the rush for rainwater. The runoff from a storm drain may be the cleanest water available in Sarajevo these days. And when God makes it available, every man, woman, and child in town rushes to get a share. Otherwise, there's the river, the sewage-filled Milatska, a few equally polluted shallow wells, and the pipes and tank trucks which magnetize mobs of jug carriers wherever they're parked. A man carrying jugs of water is passing by a hospital. A doctor grabs him. Come quick, it's an emergency. Okay, he says, I'll give you my blood, just don't take my water. <laughs> Zenit Zozic is a member of the comedy troupe Surrealist Hip Parade. So is Sula. They used to be stars on Sarajevo television, but no one can watch television in today's powerless Sarajevo, so... We are working on a radio show. We usually finish planning the show around 5 o'clock in the morning, so people get an immediate reaction to current events. Radio doesn't require a lot of technical facilities. For example, if we need a moving tank. <laughs> People who have batteries for their car, for their radios, save them to listen to our show. They really listen to us a lot. Our work is to show people, even in our terrible situation, there is a way out. It's not the end of our lives. There is still some hope. The comedy troupe's senior members, Elvis G. Kurtovich, one of Sarajevo's top rock musicians as well as a comic, and Sasha Petrovich, say making people laugh is a way of showing them, even in their hometown's most tormented times, that they are still normal. Besides mere survival and chasing water and food, one of the rare things which is left for us is this humor which shows us we still exist. Sarajevo, you know, is famous for its shortages of everything, especially cigarettes. Lots of guys always carry a spare cigarette behind their ear, like this. Some keep them there for days. So, a guy is hit by a shell, his ear is blown off. He searches the sidewalk, holding his bloody head. Run, says a neighbor, more shells are coming. Forget your ear, we'll find it later. I'm not looking for my ear, I'm looking for my cigarette. <laughs> in today's Sarajevo, laughing about bloodshed is perfectly normal. In today's Sarajevo, being normal may be the best revenge against the guys with all the guns. When we come back, part two of Dave Marish's look at life in Sarajevo. A look at the struggle of a people searching for normalcy in a land being torn apart. This is ABC News Nightline, brought to you by Subaru. My daughter, she's going to college. She needs a car. So we talked. She wanted this, she wanted that, she wanted ABS brakes. She's a very bright girl. So she looked, and she found a new Subaru Impreza. Well, I can't talk to her about a car, because I'm usually the cynic. But this Impreza left me speechless. So now I say things like, aren't you glad I told you about the new Impreza? And she says, Dad, you're employing revisionist history. Like I said, she's a very bright girl. Can you afford the great fit and comfort of lens crafters glasses? Of course you can, because our wide selection of comfortable frames starts at under $50. Now we have the prices you want and the perfect fit you need. Lens crafters find a lower price, we'll match it, guaranteed. Put traction into action, because Goodyear Traction is on sale now. Save on selected Goodyear Eagle Performance tires, selected Goodyear Wranglers for light trucks and vans, and save on every all-season Goodyear Aqua Trend. Save now at Goodyear. A secret war. Parents were murdered and their children confiscated. Were these twin boys raised by those who may have kidnapped them? The children of the disappeared. Primetime, Thursday.
this model year is coming to an end. That's why 93 Nissan trucks are going so fast. Now, during Nissan's new model year celebration, you can save up to $1,600 in factory to dealer incentives. I'm here at one of the eight Photo House locations with all the reasons I do all my photo developing at Photo House. First, you get 3x5 prints, 4x6 prints, and 5x7 prints, all for just one price. Just think of it. Your choice of three different print sizes for one low price. Photo House. From Sunnyside to Ellensburg and five locations in Yakima, great photos in a snap. Photo House. Sarajevo today is a city of contradictions, surrounded by armed Serb soldiers. Inside the city, the different ethnic groups are friends. Even more, as the 29% intermarriage rate demonstrates, they are family. Here's Dave Marish with part two of his piece on the city under siege. childhood is filled with shells and mortars. This music is what makes me feel better, so I can forget the horrible things going on around me. The Peltici Choir is usually limited to girls under 12, but now, says director Slavko Olyevich, we let them stay on longer. In today's Sarajevo, it's definitely better to be in the choir than out in the world. It's a horrible time. All people talk about are terrible things. At home, downtown, on the streets. In our lives, nothing is normal. Everything seems unreal. Things you could never dream of now are coming to pass. We offer warmth and happiness and good feelings to people. Don't kill the world. She's all we have. The choir is planning a world tour to raise money for, and more than that, raise consciousness about its beleaguered base of operations. In Sarajevo, the girls raise spirits and speak the spirit of the city. This war broke out to force apart the people of different nations. But I think that is impossible. I have friends from all different nations, and we get along very well. People here have been divided for no reason. What do faith and religion mean? What does nationality mean in this modern world of satellites? There is no excuse for this war, no excuse. Symptoms of the siege are everywhere in Sarajevo, but nowhere more so than in the marketplace. Look what's for sale here. Much of this merchandise isn't just used, it's cared for. But when your survival is at stake, you'll sell what you love. Who is this? Mickey. Yeah. How long have you had him? Three months. Three months. He has a perfect personality. He knows how to talk. He understands everything. But unfortunately, I have two children and I have to do this. This may be the world's most low energy market. Sellers who don't want to part with their few goods buyers who can't afford even the small quantities on offer. And no one seems to want to talk about anything. How can there be a free market when the city and its people are chained inside a circle of heavy weapons? Free food is what keeps Sarajevo alive. But the cupboard at most UN food warehouses is half empty these days. Donations simply haven't kept pace with the needs of Bosnia's two million homeless refugees. And quantity is hardly the only problem. These sacks of flour require water and heat to be turned into bread. And water in Sarajevo today is mostly foul, and there's little fuel for cooking. Zahid Murat Begovic has run the food distribution center in the Martin Vor neighborhood for 31 weeks. I like to see more food and more variety. 
we got one kilogram of flour per person every week or two is not enough. One of Zahid's sub-distributors is Mariana Panja. She's in charge of food for her apartment house. She says two kilos of flour a week, that's her normal share, makes about four loaves of bread. That's four a week for her and her husband, Jamal. Connoisseurs of Bosnian culture can tell by their names. The Panjas are a mixed couple. Mirjana is a Serb name, while Jamal equals Muslim. I don't think like that myself. Not even now do I consider myself Serb. I'm Bosnian. I live with Bosnians here, and I consider myself Bosnian. Jamal, you're Muslim? I am Bosnian too, but I, be, I belong to the Muslim tradition here, you know. And Jamal's father translated the Quran into Serbo-Croatian and was a Hafiz, meaning he knew the Muslim holy book by heart. Jamal translates psychological texts from English into Serbo-Croatian and teaches language in high school. A peaceful scholar with no apparent factional hate in his heart he still can't keep the war out of his home. Well, when the shelling started, I came to the window to put the board on, you know. A fragment came only maybe 10 centimeters far from me and hit to the, to the wall. Hit, you see, the fragment hit here, but I was there. The war has chased their son, a graduate student of genetic engineering, out of Bosnia. Mirjana can't even talk about it without crying. Gross. <laughs> terrible. He feels terrible because we can't connect him, we can't see him. Almost one and a half year passed since we did see him. I asked Jamal, where would a mixed family like yours fit into the Serb nationalist plan for a divided Sarajevo? Uh, I'm, I'm afraid of of that. I don't know what will be with us if they realize such a plan. When I asked Jamal what meal he dreamed of through all these days of deprivation, he replied, a hamburger with everything. <laughs> Perhaps you've guessed, he spent a year in the United States. It's like my country. I, I, I don't know what to say. My friends also consider America as the best country in the world now. And we are all surprised now why America doesn't take some measures to, to finish it. As we were preparing to go, Mariana apologized. Maybe we're a little tense, she said, because we can't see an end to this. I can't either, I confessed. And when we come back, the final part of Dave Marish's piece on Sarajevo and a look at how a famous American writer, Susan Sontag, is contributing to the cultural life of the city. We'll be back in just a moment. I've got news. New contact day and night allergy sinus formula. Non-drowsy day caplets to relieve congestion and sinus pain, plus night caplets to relieve your symptoms so you can rest. New contact day and night allergy sinus. The right medicine at the right time. This Lexus LS400 is about to shift from first to second. to third, and to fourth. We thought we'd take the opportunity to point this out. It would be so difficult for you to tell on your own. Hey, if you thought a dollar didn't go far these days, check out the huge Ace Dollar Day sale. Blue and gloves. Bags. And bottles. Cords and coffee filters. And more for just a dollar. Each. It goes to show you, Ace is America's place for better value. Hey, there's still more room back there. Next time, how a computer game is teaching ethics at the Justice Department. Then small upstart airlines, should you give them a fly? Plus Angelica Houston on Good Morning America. While many of you are aware of the enormous selection of medicines here at Payless Drugs, what you may not know is that we also have the largest selection of plums, like um, 
vivid plum or this gold pearl plum. Of course, there's also radiant plum, precious plum, snow plum, wild plum, and my personal favourite, plum zing. If you don't like plums, come to Payless anyway and check out our selection of uh, nudes. Nudes! Payless, because you deserve more from a drugstore. Ever wonder what shocks and struts do to your car or truck? Why it's important to replace them on time? Basically, they protect your tire mileage, plus improve overall cornering, handling, and braking. They also help protect other expensive parts of your car from road punishment. If you need new shocks or struts, we invite you to stop by for a free inspection. At Les Schwab, we're proud of our trained people, our service, and our selection. And remember, we guarantee our service like we guarantee our tires. Alley Lock and Key Service means a lot of things to a lot of different people. When you were locked out of your home or car day or night, Valley Lock and Key was there. And when you needed to add to your home security, Valley Lock and Key was there too, with quality deadbolts and security items installed by our locksmiths. But as times have changed, Valley Lock and Key Service has expanded with the introduction of our new retail sales floor. Many cobraxial key systems for key control and physical security. Baldwin Bath and Hardware Line for that touch of elegance. From duplicate keys to quality remodeling items, it's Valley Lock and Key. It is sometimes easier in times of war for reporters and news organizations to spend more of their time on the front lines, reporting on the blasts from the guns, the damage from the rockets. But for how the war really affects the people of a city, it is the unexpected insights in the most normal of places that sometimes shed the most light. In the third and final part of Nightline's look at Sarajevo, we visit two such places, a theater, and a funeral home. The place to see the end of Sarajevo's pain is the Eternity Funeral Home. It's also a place where you can see the beginnings of the agony. Mohammed Chavdar is the chief coffin maker here. He is also a refugee from the suburbs. Mohammed used to work in a furniture factory. He had a very good job. <laughs> I was in charge of all the shifts. I oversaw 152 men. But his suburb is now part of the Serb nationalist territory. And Mohammed is a Muslim, so he had to flee. Now he's just an employee, but he's busy. The highest number here in one day was 52 coffins, 52 people brought here and buried. That's the record. The week we were in Sarajevo might have set records in the other direction, thank God. But still, the shell-torn corpses arrived. And still, Mohammed had to face another of Sarajevo's critical shortages. Most of the wood, most of the trees in town, went into fireplaces this past cold winter. And today, providing materials for a coffin are one of the responsibilities of the families of the deceased. Some relatives can bring very good wood, and others just plain pieces. The most important thing for all dead people, whether they were killed or died naturally, is to be buried decently. Our people take good care of that. With 12,000 people killed in Sarajevo since the siege began, people have had too much practice burying the dead with dignity and decency. But the truth is, Sarajevans under siege live with incredible dignity and decency. Women somehow appear every day with freshly washed hair. Men somehow find jackets that look like they just got back from the dry cleaners. And children smile and tease strangers as if there were nothing in the world to fear, no one in the world to hate or envy. And in the midst of its torment, Sarajevo is having an arts festival featuring a production of Samuel Beckett's bleak 20th century classic, Waiting for Godot, directed by the New York writer and thinker, Susan Sontag. It's, like, it's so painful, she can't find the words. Yeah. The language barrier, Sontag speaks no Serbo-Croatian and most of the cast doesn't know English, is the least of her trials. The hardest thing about the work is that we're working in the dark. There's no electricity and there's no water. Okay, now we try it on the stage. Okay. In our, on our dark stage. The actors don't know their lines immediately. They read from a script, but they don't, they can't read their scripts. They can't see each other's faces from far away. 
Waiting for Godot is being performed this week by candlelight in the middle of the day for an audience that dares not go out at night. But it will be performed. Sarajevo is a city where the show must go on, no matter what. The actors understand that. We are waiting Godot, actually. We are waiting for democracy and for uh, very, very uh, close living with each other. I mean, all three nations as we are living here in Sarajevo and in Bosnia. My father is Croat. My mother is Muslim. And my name is Serbs, Orthodox name. And I don't know uh, what am I. Where would somebody like you fit into a divided apartheid state of Bosnia? No, uh, waiting for Godot is very interesting for Sarajevo. Maybe I'm waiting for and uh, the people in Sarajevo and Bosnia and Herzegovina waiting uh, for something. Maybe that's Clinton. Clinton. I'll be back in a moment. If price were no object, which international long-distance company would business people choose? AT&T. Uh -huh. I'd say AT&T. People said they'd choose AT&T 7 to 1 over anyone if price were no object, and now it may not be. Introducing Maximum Advantage. Now if your business spends over $200 a month, you can automatically get AT&T's lowest price guaranteed on international and domestic calls with... AT&T. Absolutely. Maximum Advantage from AT&T. Far and away the best in the business. There's no formula for dreams. Ideas don't come on schedule. Creation can occur anywhere, anytime. You must be prepared and equipped to handle it. I tried to explain this to the IRS, and it's a good thing I kept all of my records. hero and the homecoming queen. I'm majoring in Gavin and me. Theirs was a love meant to last forever. I don't care about anything but you. But when the cheering stopped, the heartbreak began. <laughs> it's killing me, Babs. Don't do this. I'm a loser. A touching story that proves real love can survive anything. I am the luckiest man that ever lived. Dennis Quaid, Jessica Lange, and John Goodman. Everybody's All-American. Sunday. Later tonight on World News Now, the life and death plight of Brazil's street children. That's later tonight on this ABC station. And that's our report for tonight. I'm Ted Koppel in Washington. For all of us here at ABC News, good night. presentation of ABC News. More Americans get their news from ABC News than from any other source. Wednesday.